Well, actually, I've been working at Magnet for for 30 years. Uh, 17 years. So it's time for change. Try something else. Since 98. Okay, retirement has been a, a tough decision for me because I love this school and I love the students and the faculty, all my colleagues here, and I'm going to miss them a great deal. Yes, I'm doing Magnet. Enjoy the students like that. When you have a lot of problems that you have at other schools you don't have here. And they're a little rowdy at times, but they're good students. The, the kids. The kids. And the, and the teachers. I love the teachers. The biggest change in school life. Uh, I think that kids come uh, better prepared, quite honestly. Uh, technology has made dramatic changes in their lives. Uh, they know more than perhaps they did in the uh, in the earlier years that the school began. <laughs> oh, that's such an easy question. The most rewarding part is having the opportunity to touch the lives of the kids who are here. But I also think that one change that I've seen that has 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 concerned me is that. Our kids are so busy nowadays. They weren't quite as busy when the school first started. So now they have to strike a balance between extracurricular outside activities and their homework. And, and, and that's been a, an incredible change. And of course, technology. Technology has completely revamped the way that we teach nowadays. Teachers can do things in five minutes that it took us 35 or 40 minutes to do. So those are some of the some of the great changes that I've observed over the years. To be a part of their families, uh, to know what's going on, uh, and to get to know them, and to watch them grow. I've been here long enough to remember what a kid looked like in ninth grade if I met the child initially and to watch him march across the stage and to have been a part of those years in between to experience with him his doing well in English or his doing poorly in science or his having to have a conference with uh, me and his teacher about uh, a project in social studies to watching the child become a, 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 a science fair winner, a national merit semifinalist, a distinguished scholar is no doubt the most rewarding thing. And I'll tell you something else that's, that, that, that's important to me. I rely heavily on trust because I believe in doing the right things for the kids and the families who are part of the school. Nothing's more important than our credibility, the reputation of our school. And for me, we have earned and maintained public trust all these years. Uh, old age? <laughs> no, admittedly. I think we all get to a point where we know that it's, you know, it's time uh, to go. But in, in, in large part, uh, I think that I'm impacted by the same things that most women are. We have aging parents and I have an aging mother who really needs me just a little bit more. Uh, and I'm going to spend time with her, taking her to the doctor, and really taking better care of her. She did so much to sacrifice to, for me to get to this point that I just think that I need to do a little bit more for her. Um, after I retire, I'm going to go and teach in a private school. Um, the main reason I'm doing that is because I'm raising my grandchildren, and that way I can collect retirement and get a salary and so provide a better life for them, hopefully. Well, uh, my husband and I just bought a house in New Orleans and we'll spend time there and we like to travel. And I'll play with my friends, go out to lunch, and play bridge, do whatever I want. Uh, exercise, <laughs> uh, learn a little bit more about uh, the community in which I recently moved. Uh, become involved there. I'm on several boards and I'll give more time 
to community uh, activities. I've always loved being a part of the community, so I'll spend time there, but I want to get into better shape by walking and running and, and of course, you know, caring for mom and doing those kinds of things. But, and I'll do a little travel. I have not had a chance to go anywhere or do anything. The time between the end of school and the start of school is very short for me. So I'd like to take some really good vacation. Like them, hopefully. But it's going to be a very sad day when I leave this school. Teachers, I love the teachers, the kids. It's been a wonderful experience.